Okay, so we are part three of our logarithms, and we're going to do more uh, addition and subtracting of logarithms and equations. And uh, here's a couple of problems I want to go over with you. Log base 10y plus log of y plus 21 equals to 2. And as you see, when you see a plus, you see a minus here, you see that? You just go to this th chart, a theorem, that was it say? When you have two logs adding together, you're multiplying the the uh, the things inside the logs, okay? So, so that's what you're doing. You're multiplying plus 21, okay? Remember base 10 equals 2. And then when you see th in this form, you'll see that is this form. You see that? It's always the same theorems over and over again. That's the thing with logarithm. There's nothing special, nothing new, okay? So. That's the same thing as this format, b to the y equals the x, as you see over here. So it's 10 to the 2, so 10 squared, right, equals to y times y plus 21. You see that? It's just that little hook thing that I discussed in the other uh, videos. It's that little hook. It's like a counterclockwise hook. That's how I get to this. It's, that's how it works, OK? So 10 squared is 100 equals to, and let's distribute this y times y, y squared plus 21y, okay? Let me move a 100 to the other side so I can uh, possibly factor it. Okay, so that's easy, equals zero. Uh, so you got, see, 21y there. So how do we make that 100? How about, let's see, 20 and 5. I think of the best way to do this problem. 20, 15, 25, 25 and 4, okay? So 25 and 4, 0, so equals to y, okay? So 1 is 25 and 1 is 4, so it doesn't matter which one is which. It's a plus sign, so we add here, okay? So the solutions will be y is 25, oops, negative 25 and 4. And then we plug it back to the original equation. Remember, you can only have positive logs, logarithms. If you put negative 25 in here, you get negative 4, right? Negative 25 plus negative, negative 25 plus 21 is negative 4. So that's why negative 25 cannot be. So 4 is the only possible. Possibility. You plug back 4 and it works. 4 plus 21, 25, log 4. It has to be positive. You can't take a log, log of a negative number. Okay, so the answer is y equals 4. So we're going to the next problem. Log base 2 uh, of 9x plus 5 minus log base 2 of x squared minus 1 equals a 2. So first thing you do, you recognize you know the logs right now are a difference, difference of logs. So you go to this one, difference of logs. And what do you do when it's a difference of logs? It goes back to here, you're dividing the x and the y. So you're dividing these two. So you'll get 9x plus 5. So you take log base 2 of x squared minus 1. OK? You see how there's, you take the uh, division right here? When you're subtracting here, you divide. OK? So now you get log base 2, 9x plus 5, all over uh, x squared minus 1 equals to 2. So we go back to the original theorem. Remember, b to the y equals to x, the little hook, like this. It's kind of like almost like a biology, the circle of life kind of thing, but it's counterclockwise. Okay, so you get 2 squared equals to 9x plus 5, all over x squared minus 1. Okay, 2 squared is just 4. Okay, and that's 9x plus 5 equals to x squared minus 1. Okay, and let me write it over here, continue over here, so it's more space. And uh, what I do, I multiply x squared minus 1 on both sides, right? Let's do that. So I'm going to get rid of the denominator. Okay, so now what I do, I distribute the 4. And then 
I said it equal to zero is the best way to do it. So I move the 9x over, I subtract 9x, and I subtract 5. So I'll get 4x squared uh, minus 9x, and I subtract 5, negative 4 minus 5, or we could be negative 9. Okay. And then uh, you want to figure out what times this, you get a 9. Okay. So you got a factor. Let's see. So it seems like it will be 4, 2, and 1. Ooh. How about this? 4 and 2, wait, 4 and. That won't work. Uh, let's see. 3. So let's try a 3. Ah, 3 will work. 4 and 1. OK. So 4x squared, and then 3 times 3, and then 3 and 12 will be 9. OK, so there we go. So it's 4x plus 3 times x minus 3. That works. Negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, and 4x times 4x. OK? So you solve for x, you'll get a negative, let's see, negative 3 fourths and 3, OK? So you plug it back to the original equation, OK? Negative 3 fourths, uh, you plug it in here, you get a positive number, so that's good. You plug it in here, um, let's see. You will get 9 twelfths minus 1. That's a negative number, so that's no good. Okay. 3, you put it in here, easily positive. 3 times 9 plus 5, you know, it's like 30, uh, 32. 3 squared minus 1, that's 8, so this is the only possibility. So it will be x equals to 3. Make sure you always double check, you know, the to see if it's negative in the logarithms. Because sometimes you have two solutions, but sometimes you only have one solution. Or maybe possible uh, you get no solutions, but you have to plug it in uh, back to make sure because you get you can't take a logarithm of a negative number. That's why I always have to double check. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I haven't done any I think videos of uh, quadratics yet, but I will at some point. Uh, I will move on to uh, part four where you're doing exponents of logarithms.